Hey, what's up guys? John here from Rich Unboxings and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the new Mailbox app that finally allows iOS users to receive push notification from their Gmail accounts. Once you're able to get past that waiting list from the app launch, you'll notice that Mailbox allows you to use swipe gestures to organize all of your emails. Now in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to do all of that. If you swipe to the right until you get a green highlight, you can basically send the emails waiting in your mailbox to an archive. To access your archive, you hit the menu icon in the left corner and press archive. And as you can see, the emails are added are being updated. Which is good because while this is happening, it's syncing with your Gmail account online. Now for the next swipe gesture, you have the option to delete. All you need to do is swipe to the right until you see a red highlight with an X. Just gonna do that one more time. So again, it's until you see a red highlight with an X. Now let's hit the menu option. We're gonna hit trash. And you're gonna see all the items swiped to the trash. Now to recover them, you just swipe to the right to get the green highlight for archive. Swipe to the left to permanent delete. You're gonna see a little pop-up that says erase this message. We're gonna hit no for now. And we're gonna go back into the mailbox where I can show you the next swipe gesture to save for later. Now this is where I think Mailbox shines above the rest of the email apps, including Gmail. Now we're just going to swipe to the left until you see a yellow highlight. And it's going to bring up some options. You're going to see things like later today, this evening, this weekend, next week, someday, and so on. Now this is where you might not even need a task list app because it kind of has that built in with Mailbox. We're going to choose pick a date. Um, we're just going to choose a random date here, Saturday, February 23rd, 10.05 a.m. Just going to click set date. And now that email is going to be saved and it's going to pop up for that specific date like it would for any task reminder app. Now back in the menu area, we're going to hit later. No, not lists, later. And you're going to see the note to self that we left earlier when we chose a specific date, which says deferred until February 23rd. So we'll get that on that date. Let's back to the mailbox to get to the list swipe gesture. Now we're going to swipe it to the left until we see a light brown color with the menu option. You're going to see to buy, to watch, and to read, and you can even create new lists as well. We're going to hit to read. Now we're going to go back to the menu. You're going to see that lists has a new subcategory, which is to read. You're going to see the number one beside it for the email that we just put in. Going into there, you can see that same email. Now back to the mailbox. I just want to show you how mailbox shows conversations. So we're going to go in with my ski trip email. You're going to see my conversation back and forth. Um, mailbox likes to cut out the threads just so you don't need to waste time reading all that. I'm going to click the second link there so you can see the threaded information. If you really do care to see that, they do have it there. Here we have the default signature set with mailbox for any Gmail account. Now, if you do want to get rid of that or change it to whatever, all you need to do is go into the menu and then go into settings. And you're going to see a couple things here, your email accounts, you can add more, the default, you can see signature right there, go into that. Now you can clear it and you can type in whatever you want. Uh, we're just going to stick with the default for now at the moment, we don't really need to worry about that. Now, for composing a new message, you're going to have some options here. When you type in the contacts in the to section, it uses your Apple contacts or it syncs with your Gmail contacts. You can type in for the subject field as well. We're just going to stick with the gibberish here. You can also attach any picture in your photo gallery. I'm going to delete the draft. So that's it for the review slash mini tutorial on the Mailbox app out for the iPhone. Soon it's going to be released for the iPad and Mac OS X versions. Overall, I do like this app over other email clients such as Gmail and the regular Apple Mail client. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below.